Before we go any further, let's save the session. Always a good idea to save the session early on in the production. Give it a name. Probably something more inspiring than what I've used. Okay, now let's open up the library and select a more appropriate sound for this chord progression. In the Synthesizer tab, we have a whole bunch of options. Lead sounds, chord sounds, pad sounds. One thing to keep in mind is that many of the lead sounds may not work in this context as they are fixed to be monophonic, which means they only let you play one note at a time. As you can hear, that's only playing one of the notes from the chord. Okay, now I've already pre-selected a sound for this. In the Classics tab, the patch Micro Pulse. Cool. Let's open the Smart Controls tab. Here we have a few parameters of the synth that can be controlled. Low pass filter cutoff. DK of the filter envelope. Mix between the two oscillators. This one is an octave above. Here we have an EQ section. I'm going to tone down some of those lows with this low shelf. Let's turn on the analyzer to see what frequencies we are affecting. Looks like I got that right. The overall gain here seems to be a bit low, so let's bring it back up. So we have a pretty decent sound, but I want to automate some of the parameters here to give the sound some movement. We'll do that in the next tutorial.